Hey guys, hey there, my name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Steins Gate episode 16. So last episode they were still trying to figure out ways in order to change the past and in order to do so they you know, they got help from Suzuha. She explained the whole situation that she came from the future uh, which we already knew, but she also explained the whole situation, what it looks like in the future where CERN is in control over the whole population. But in order to do so, they have to travel back to the moment where Okarin sent his very first D-mail. And yeah, they need the time machine in order to do so, which is still broken. Um, Daru is still trying to fix it and yeah the clock is ticking because they only have two days and if they don't manage to do that within two days you know they have to try it again at least you know with the time leap. So yeah that's where we left off last episode so I'm really excited to see how this story is going to continue so without further ado let's hop right into the episode so let's go. Alright I'm ready so I'm going to start the episode in 3, 2, 1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the random street vendor. <laughs> Super random though. <laughs> oh my god, this English is hilarious. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, they have to make the time leap machine, time leap again, further back into time, and wait for him until he shows up at that street vendor's place. Then they know who it is. But yeah, last episode was hilarious. I am mad scientist. So cool! <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, I was wondering, like, usually we got the time, or like the title, I mean, of the episode. Oh, you're, oh, you're already laid back. Oh, 
my god, so I was Daru. <laughs> So she cannot go back to the future. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we saw this already last episode. <laughs> exactly the same conversation. We saw some development between Daru and Suzuhado. Oh yeah, she's planning on going further back into the past. I forgot about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, they actually suit each other quite well. Does that remind her of something? What? 
Wait, what? <laughs> she a good <cream. laughs> Oh. Second edition. So actually when he went to Does she remember her mother though? But yeah, like, only if she manages to delete the D-mail from Cern's database, then the future will change. So everything is actually resting on Suzuha right now. Oh, even sending a message. Actually, what I just wanted to say, um, I was focusing on the episode though, but you know, when Daru wanted to buy the batch. Oh my god! I keep getting interrupted with my theory, so maybe I'll just keep it for after the episode. It's actually so confusing. Is it her though? Is it really her though? Oh, it's actually him.
<gasps> oh, oh my god. What? So she was actually supposed to meet them that day. Oh, she actually wrote it so many times. <sighs> oh. Wow, this imagery. So now what? Yeah, she was a lab member, but it's hard to explain it to him. Actually, like after she wrote the letter. Still, like at the time, he thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah, true.
Oh, it's the one she brought back to the past. Oh, the divergence meter. <laughs> yeah, it has changed. Yeah, exactly. It's still not enough, though. Oh, is it the day? Is it the day that Myrie is gonna die? Something is different though. Has she? Okay, definitely something has changed because if I like saw it correctly, CERN didn't show up. Like they were supposed to before and Mayuri hasn't died yet I mean she was clearly still alive but they didn't change the timelines right because the divergence meter still wasn't below 1% So that was episode 16 of Steins Gate. Um, yeah, it was once again focused on Suzuha. She actually had the biggest role of changing the past because, you know, she was the one who was responsible for traveling to the past and changing the whole thing. Yes, but we discovered who her father actually is. It is. It was Daru, it was Daru the whole time, which is crazy, but it actually makes sense that, you know, he asked the street vendor to make, create a fake badge, you know, by showing him the picture. But if that was the actual badge he later gave to Suzuha in the future, that will make a lot of sense. That's what I wanted to say during the episode, but, you know, like, these interactions and stuff kept interrupting me. But this is what I wanted to say. So yeah, in that sense, it makes 
a lot of sense that Daru is Suzuha's actual father. And of course there were more clues and evidences that he was her actual dad, like Mayushi explained, you know. Um, but I think the one of the badge that she didn't mention, I think that one is actually the biggest evidence that shows that Daru is actually Suzuha's father. And when you think about it, they look a little bit alike. You know, they have the same hair color, I believe, or really similar, and yeah, it's just because they were so close, we never thought about that possibility. At least I didn't. I never expected Daru to be her actual father. I thought that the father would be a character that we hadn't seen yet. But then on the other hand, like, Sainsuke doesn't introduce a lot of new characters throughout the series. We always stick to the same group, and yeah, there aren't, like, actual other characters that are really important. I mean like in the end uh, John Tyler turned out to be Suzuha, Beryl Titer turned out to be Daru, so actually like people that we thought were like people that we hadn't seen before were actually people we had known all along. So that's how you know Steins Gate works with those characters. There, there aren't new characters, and maybe we just have to accept that. But yeah, so Daru managed to repair the time machine, so Suzuha traveled back into time, but in the end still something went wrong, so she forgot all about, you know, the fact that she traveled back into the past, and, you know, about the whole promise and mission she had. So she spent like 24 years or so doing nothing basically about the mission and when she remembered everything it was already too late so that's why she committed suicide. But then Okarin sent the email, I actually couldn't catch what he actually sent to the past but that D-mail changed a couple of things. So Suzuha didn't die from a suicide but from a disease and Mayushi didn't die. At least not yet. So things definitely have changed even though the convert like the divergent meter was still below 1%. But if I remember correctly, it used to be like 30 or so, or well, 0.3 I mean, but now it's like 0.4. So it is closer to 1, definitely. And the fact that CERN didn't show up at the, ex at the same time, they, that also shows that, you know, things, some things have changed, some things. But I'm wondering, is this really the farewell of Suzuha? Will we see her again? I'm wondering about that. It would be sad though if we didn't see her again. But yeah, we'll, I guess we'll have to see. So yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're curious to see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.